Hi, I'm astrologer and life coach Penny Dix. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my short heads up for the sign of Taurus for the month of November. So remember, this is for the sun in Taurus or for the ascendant, also known as the rising sign. Taurus. Wow. I always say that because you have just been um, really turned upside down with Uranus, our planet of the unexpected, in your sign. And it hasn't finished with you yet. And on the 8th of November, we have a very significant full total lunar eclipse in Taurus, yes, in your sign, about your identity. It's conjunct Uranus. And of course, it brings in the energy of your seventh house, Scorpio, and relationships. But I think this is more about your relationship with yourself. And I think it's about how you are changing significantly on the inside in how you deal with your life and what's going on in your world, but also even maybe how you look on the outside. You could be changing how you look and just feeling it's time to give yourself a little bit of a, a sort of a shake up. And this full moon is certainly going to do that. I mean, I will do a, a video separately on the full moon, so I'm not going to go into it into too much depth here, but I think it, it, in general, it's about changes in relationships, changes with the relationship you have with yourself. And I think we have to look at what comes out from the shadows. Is it a new you? Is it that you've done with something and it's time to move on? Jupiter and Neptune, because Jupiter has slipped out of Aries now and moved back into Pisces to be almost conjunct Neptune. Now, Jupiter, as you remember, is about expansion. It's about luck. It's about opportunity. And Neptune is that kind of spiritual, core spiritual centre of ourselves. And with these two almost conjunct in this 11th house of hopes and wishes, the community at large, you need to think back to what was going on for you around the spring of this year, around April. Because um, I think you probably noticed that you were much more intuitive about what directions to take with regard to the dreams and the, and the hopes that you hold dear. I have a feeling you have an ability now to see with much more clarity the truth about situations. So I think it's about trusting your instincts and actually just don't hold back. Saturn, our big planet of restriction, rules, learning, and also of timing. Now, Saturn, remember, has been squaring Uranus in your sign. Saturn has been encouraging you and imploring you to take your time about changes that you wish to make, to just give it lots of thought, to not rush in, to not rush in where angels fear to tread. Now Saturn is making a nice aspect at this point from your 10th house of career to Mars that is now retrograde in Gemini in your second house of finance. I think you could be getting timely news about your financial situation. I feel you may be breathing a bit of a sense of a relief. 
Um, maybe it's because by the time we get to November, we have a little bit more stability um, in, in, in some way in the economy because there will by now be a new prime minister in Downing Street and whoever he or she is, uh, it hopefully will have settled the markets a bit. Although the problem is, I think there will be other things going on on the planet that are still going to rock the boat, rock the financial boat. But you've worked hard, Taurus, and I do think you're going to start reaping the rewards of what you've sown career-wise leading up to this point over the last couple of years. Pluto, in the part of your chart to do with travel in Capricorn, is also direct now. And I think Pluto is opening up doors for you to um, look further afield to how you might um, expand your knowledge through travel and through perhaps even working abroad. So you've got that energy too. And you've also got the new moon in Sagittarius. And this is in your eighth house of other people's money. So that could also herald some better news about um, shared finance or investments or anything of that nature, even just your pension or piggy bank. So that looks okay. Now let's do your tarot card for the month of November and see what we get. So I said at the beginning, I'm using the small pack again because the other one I tend to throw all over the place. And um, we don't want that. I, let's see which one. Oh, I think it's this one that's popping out and begging to be read. So remember, I have no idea what I'm going to get here. And I have to look at it and think, hmm, does this apply? Is it appropriate? Well, let's have a look. I think actually, yes, it does. It's the two of wands. And it's interesting because this figure is looking out across the water. So I think this is representing that Pluto in the ninth, where you're looking further afield to expand your kingdom, your empire. And it's like you've, you've come so far and that is bearing fruit. That's the wand here that has the growth on it. So you've come so far and there is a way to go because this one has already got growth on it and it really needs to be um, nurtured to grow even more. So it could be a slightly kind of different avenue that you start to follow with regard, I think, to your work because you have got Saturn in that part of your chart. So I think that's cool, Taurus. I'm happy with that. Taurus, thank you so much for joining me for your November reading. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.